Hello everyone, this is Stren from ExtremeRex.net and today we have another video review for you. Today it is for the Alpha Cool Dual Bay Reservoir um, and this is the Dual D5 version uh, also known as the Repack, although there are a few Repack models. Um, it comes in this quite nice Alpha Cool box However, the packaging is a bit subpar. It's just wrapped in a kind of flimsy foam sheet. So that could definitely be improved right out of the gate. In terms of the design itself, uh, you have the input and output ports on the back. As I said, this is for a dual pump setup. So you have one D5 can be mounted here once you remove this plate. And the second D5 can be mounted there. So you get four ports, one input and one output for each pump. The front is a reservoir, and this is a shared reservoir. Um, so, you know, together this can be used in a, in a few different ways. It can be used, obviously, with the blank in place as a single pump, uh, single reservoir, single loop setup. It can also be used with two pumps. And if you use it with two pumps, we would recommend that you only run um, with one pump for each loop. So you're running two pumps, but you're running two loops. One pump for each loop. And the reservoir has to be shared by design. Um, and you may not want a shared reservoir when you're running two loops, because then if you drain one loop to do maintenance, you have to drain the other. So why do we say you have to do it that way? Well, that's because two pumps with one loop does not work well on this system. Uh, so we've tested this on our test bench for pumps and what we found was while single pump performance is adequate, it's, it's on the low end, it's the lowest one we measured so far, but it's only a little bit low, it's probably about 5% behind the competition. So it's not, you know, so low that you can say, oh it's terrible, Do, avoid it. But once you set it up for two pumps, we found the problems. For start, we tried to connect this in series. The website said you could connect it in series with a Y connector, and that confused us. Uh, what the website means by series is actually parallel. If you connect this in series, because of the shared reservoir, one pump is just spinning around idly, sloshing water back and forth into the reservoir, and it's not even really connected to the other pump. So it actually makes performance worse than a single pump, significantly worse in fact. Uh, if you do connect it in parallel, so you have one loop with two pumps in parallel, um, we tested this with a T connector. Now the website recommends a Y connector, but we didn't have a Y connector. So with the T connector, we connect the two outputs uh, together. So they push against each other and then they come out of the top of the T, or an upside down T. Um, and obviously when you have two pumps kind of fighting like that together and hitting each other and then splitting off, you're going to lose some efficiency. And the question is just how much? Um, what we found was that the efficiency loss was so great, it was actually worse than the single pump. You get about 95% of the single pump performance if you're using a T-connector, and that's really bad. Uh, if you connect, compare that to a true series connector, for example, uh, like the coolant reservoir has, that gets uh, you know zero efficiency loss. You get exactly two pumps worth of power. So that's obviously a lot better. Um, the last thing we'd like to talk about is the construction and the quality of this. Um, again, our reference point is the coolant. When with the coolant design, you have um, the main body made out of acetal. Here, only this black section, of course, is, is made out of acetal. And then this front section is made of, out of acrylic. And all of these acrylic pieces, because there's multiple pieces here, I think there's something like nine pieces, um, because there's an extra kind of bubble channel protection thing here. So all of those nine pieces are glued together, so that's a significant amount of glue joints. And you know, acrylic glue joints have been known to fail over time. So it's not really the most robust way of making a reservoir. 
Obviously there are plenty of them out there that haven't failed. So it, you know, it's not guaranteed, but it is a weakness. With the coolants, it still has a window on the front, but the, you know, that's the only piece of acrylic and it's sealed with an O-ring. So it's clamped uh, to provide the pressure to the O-ring to give a seal. And that's much better than using glue. So in conclusion, the coolant reservoir, uh, it is a little bit more expensive. It's $130. This one is $106. So the coolant just gives you a lot more flexibility. It gives you a lot more options. It's more useful. It's better designed. It's better constructed. So um, we would definitely recommend the coolants over this. Um, however, if $24 is going to break the budget, you can buy this if you need to. But bear in mind, um, if that's the case, what I would recommend is just getting a cheaper single uh, D5 pump reservoir and using that instead because you'll, you'll be a lot happier. Um, so the only other thing to talk about is the fill port. This is not a traditional fill port like most reservoirs have. Um, when you unscrew it, instead of just being a, a stop fitting, it's a piece of copper tube that you can't pull out all the way. You can see it kind of sticking out there. And there's a hole that you can then use a kind of a, a filling bottle to fill. Uh, we would much rather see a traditional stop fitting and we would like there to be two, um, one on either side. And that would mean that as you're filling the reservoir with water, it, the second one gives a chance for the bubbles of air to escape. We would also recommend filling the case on its back. So if you do use this, uh, you mount it in there, put the case on, on its back. And the reason you do that is so that all the entire reservoir can be used to fill the pump. If you have it on its front, that's not the case because the inlet to the pump is halfway down the reservoir. So once the water gets below halfway, the pumps run dry. So bear that in mind. You're not, you know, there's a minimum marker on the face plate here and that's just nonsense. It doesn't, doesn't work like that at all. Uh, so don't run your pumps dry. That's a bad thing. Um, and the last thing to say is this does come with the O-rings that you need to seal it as well as the clamps. So that means you can save a bit of money as you can with the coolants too. And instead of buying a full D5, you can buy something like this with no top and no O-ring. And that saves you a little bit of money uh, that way. So in summary, um, we're not particularly impressed with the construction, um, the glue joints. You know, you have to worry about that in the long term. We don't like the functionality. It's severely compromised in terms of a two pump setup. Um, and the performance is at the bottom of the group, even for single pumps. So overall, we'd have to say, um, you know, for $24, just wait a little bit more or get something else cheaper if you can't afford it. But the coolants reservoir is way better um, just on every letter, you know, quality, design. It is just a really nice piece of kit. And I'm sorry to say, Alpha Call, this one was a bit of a miss. So that's it from us um, at extremeworks.net. Please, please uh, subscribe to the channel. That means you'll be able to see every video we make and keep up to date with us. Um, and if you're into Facebook and Twitter, then make sure to follow us on there. Links will be at the end of the video. Um, and that's it from us.